Hi, I'm Cliff Alaparty of Immortal Ephemera, and I'm back to look at another classic film book. This time around, Dangerous Curves Atop Hollywood Heels by Michael G. Ankovich. Uh, the book subtitled The Lives, Careers, and Misfortunes of 14 Hard Luck Girls of the Silent Screen. And that's what you get here, 14 mini biographies. On average, the text, uh, text and photo section of each is about 14 to 22 pages. Then there's uh, notes at the end and a filmography at the end of each section. And actually, I like the way it's done. The notes aren't all on the back. They come at the end of each section. Uh, the 14 actresses covered are Agnes Ayres, Olive Borden, Grace Darmond, Eleanor Fair, Juanita Hansen, Wanda Hawley, Natalie Joyce, who's the shortest entry at just eight pages. She was uh, Olive Borden's cousin. Barbara Lamar. Martha Mansfield, Mary Nolan, Marie Prevost, whose name I probably just mispronounced, Lucille Rickson, who I thought was the most interesting entry, Eve Southern, and Alberta Vaughn. And for each, there's a load of photos all throughout, probably, yeah, just about everywhere I flip there's a photo. One of the problems, and this is probably the publisher Bear Manor's fault, some of the pictures reproduce really bad, like uh, this is Juanita Hansen, and it's so pixelated. I almost feel like I can draw a tic-tac-toe board in the middle of her. Uh, but Anchorage himself on the biographies, he does a great job. I'm going to be going back to this a lot. I've already used it in research in one of my posts. I think it's similar to uh, some other type books, like uh, Golden Images by Eve Golden. Silent Players by Anthony Slide. I just used the three of these and put in, uh, to help me put a post together. You know, you know, there's no Mary Pickford in here. There's, there's no Rudolph Valentino. This is looking at the lesser known stars from the silence from the teens and twenties. And, uh, I'd mentioned Lucille Rickson was the most interesting one. She was somebody I didn't even know anything about. She, uh, she'd appeared in about three dozen films. She, climbed up to be a leading lady by the end of her career, and she was also the most depressing story because she died. She was just a few months shy of her 15th birthday. So uh, she looked older for her age, and they used her that way. They added, I think they added three years to her age in the publicity materials from what Anchorage said, and she died in 1925, just uh, 14 years old. Uh, Anchorage, she Doug, uh, as as the notes show, he dug through all the magazines of, of the period, uh, photo play and the like. He went, uh, he checked out all the newspaper databases you can find, and uh, he did interviews. He talked to Don Gallery, the the son of Barbara Lamar, which made that uh, comes right about the middle, and I think it's the longest entry in the book. Uh, very good biography of Barbara Lamar. I uh, talked to uh, the families of, of Wanda Hawley. The Descendants of Lucille Rickson, which I'm sure added a lot to that story. And he did, did a great job with everybody. There wasn't one that I was disappointed when I got to the end. My only criticism would be the photos, as I said. And it seems to be a bit much, at least in a book like this. There's a filmography at the end of every chapter. And for some, it's just four or five pages long. I, I think one of them was up to 15 pages long, though. I counted it out. Uh, obviously, it annoyed me a little. There were 91 pages total of uh, filmographies in this book. Not counting the index, the book itself is 393 pages. So it's almost one quarter of the book is just film credits listings. Now, back uh, before the Internet, this was great because this would be the only way to see what movies your, star your favorite stars and stars you're reading about appeared in. But now, yeah, since I found the IMDb, Whenever I came online 10 or 12 years ago or whatever, I, I don't think I've really looked at one of these once. Uh, I think they're still helpful in uh, biography centered on one person. But when we had 14 personalities here, it seemed to be a bit of overkill. That would be really the only flaw I had with this. I thought the writer did a great job. I like the style, the research. You can see everything is uh, documented. Really excellent book, and I recommend it highly. Uh, it came out this year, 2011 copyright date, although I got mine under the Christmas tree. Uh, it's published by Bear Manor Media, and it's 
Dangerous Curves Atop Hollywood Heels by Michael G. Anchorage. Thanks for watching.